This is Tammy coming to you live from the International Motorcycle Show at the Donald D. Stevens Convention Center, Rosemont, Illinois. I'm standing in front of this bike and we are enjoying all the bikes that are here. There's a lot of time and preparation for all the bikes. This is a place where you can come on out, learn about the motorcycles, and learn about the motorsports industry. So this is a great place to come out if you want to find out more about that. And uh, hey, meet up with some old friends and some great people. Thanks for coming, and if you're not here, you better start coming now. It's a great show. Hi, Ron Cartman here, TNT Arts and Entertainment at the amazing IMS show. We're here with our good friends Mark Daniels at Psychotic Air. Now you folks do tremendous work. Thank you. This is some of the most amazing airbrushing oh, thank you very much. I have ever seen. And we want to talk a little bit about the history of the company, how you got started, how you, you told me you taught yourself, which, wow. Yeah, uh, self-taught, I uh, had a neighbor. Um, whose dad was a body man, so I hung out with him and uh, worked for a shop for about 17 years and then just decided to go out on my own. And uh, I've enjoyed it ever since. Fantastic. Now, you're self-taught. Correct. Now, I'm an artist and you're an artist. I'm a musician. This is such a natural, I mean, I look at this stuff and I'm like amazed. When you started doing this, did you realize that you, I mean, this is like, from God almost. Oh no, no. It's been a lot of a lot of years of practicing, a lot of mistakes and learning from them and uh, just getting better and better every year. Okay, now you use basic airbrushing tools. Correct. And to do each line or each color mm -hmm. and then it's overlaid. How much time does it take for something like this? How, how much time did it take you to do this? Uh, to do that one was probably about four or five hours. Uh, some like this Indian that could be, uh, you know, a couple days. It really depends on the level of detail I'm trying to get out of it. Okay, now most of this you use photos? Correct. I try to uh, use a lot of photo reference uh, to draw from. Okay, and I was, this really struck my attention. Boy, this spider almost looks like it comes alive, folks, right off this tank. Uh, tell us just a little bit about this. Uh, well, I first started with a white canvas. Uh, I um, traced this image on there with pencil, and then I just started with the over-reduced black and just started chiseling out all the details. And I also noticed 
You do instruments. Yes, we do. Yeah, we've done a lot of guitars. Uh, done guitars for Pink, uh, Judas Priest, Pearl Jam, The Who, Ozzy. Wow, some of the artists I played with The Who. This was a long time ago. Wow. Townsend, what a great guitar player. Oh, yeah. Yes. Let's talk about this Indian thing. Amazing face. Black and white. Correct. Yeah, I really like to uh, paint in black and white. Mark, what's the turnaround time? Somebody comes into your shop, they want to do a tank or maybe a custom job on a motorcycle or a car. And obviously each job's different, but give us an idea. You know, a tank could be uh, anywhere from a couple days, but the more uh, detail or complexity, it could be about two weeks. But usually we're averaging about two to three weeks. And what's the cost of something like this? I'm just curious. Oh, uh, like it could go from very inexpensive. It could be a couple hundred bucks to, you know, a thousand dollars. It just depends on what you want. Depending on what they got. Now, looking at everything, I must say you have the patience of a saint. Thank you. Yeah, I really enjoy uh, the, the creative process and uh, it's very therapeutic for me. Now, you do both automotive and cycles. Correct. We do pretty much anything we can paint on. Uh, we're a full collision shop as well, uh, so we do quite a bit of work. Where, where are you located? Uh, we're in Batavia, Illinois. Okay, so folks, this is local for some fantastic airbrushing on motorcycles, automotive, instruments. This is the man to talk to, Mark Daniels. Mark, what's your website, social media? Sure, it's psychoticair.com, 630-244-3150. Uh, Mark Daniels, Psychotic Air, fantastic airbrushing here at the IMS Show, International Motorcycle Show. standing here with Ashley and she is with AGV Sport and she has a lot of wonderful products she's going to be sharing with us uh, and talking about all the stuff she has to offer here. So we are now in front of the ladies gear yes. and um, one of the main questions that everybody has in the motorsports world uh, is safety and I heard you guys are all about safety. Maybe you could tell us about your company and how safety ties in and just tell us a little bit about yourself. We are all about safety. Our jackets, every piece has a back armor, shoulder armor, and elbow armor. So all the jackets that you see, we have all these women's leather jackets, women's textile jackets, racing jackets, and then we have complimentary pieces for men too. Um, can you show us like what's some of your best sellers? Okay, so this jacket right here, is definitely one of our best sellers. And this color is the Oxblood. We find that women really like this. And we do have the complimentary men's pieces, but instead of just shrinking them down, we made it more tailored to a woman's body. And so it's very flattering, but it's also very safe and wears like a normal leather jacket and a motorcycle jacket. Okay, so something that you can't see is there is the shoulder and the elbow armor that's in here. It's also removable. On the inside, there is a removable liner. There are two different cell phone pockets that fit the biggest iPhone that there is. And then once this is taken out, this liner under here, you can see the back armor. And then when you ride without the liner, there's also more cell phone pockets on the inside. There is an attachment at the bottom so you can hook it to your pants so you won't be riding up. I think that's kind of neat because, um, you know, from looking on the outside, you can't see what's going on the inside. I kind of think that's nice that you have that extra padding in the back. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And, of course, for us ladies, when we, we want to be on a bike or something, we don't want anything riding up there. Nice feature in the back there you have for the pants. Yes. I heard that this jacket here is your biggest seller. Tell us about this 
particular jacket? So this is one of our adventure jackets and it comes in a women's and a men's jacket. It's definitely one of our best sellers that has a lot of different features on it, including these flaps that are magnetic with a venting. So it's got a waterproof liner on the inside. This has multiple layers that you can pull out. It's also got the same features as all the other jackets where they have the cell phones on the inside of the liner. And once you take the liner out, it has more cell phone pockets. It's also got a thermal liner on it, so you're extra warm. And then you can take the two liners out for when the warm weather gets a little bit warmer. Very nice if you like to ride when the weather, you know, is unpredictable. So you want to get something like this for that, correct? Yeah. Also, we have the complimenting um, pants that come in men's and women's as well. And it has a lot of the same features and the different layers to it. So, Ashley, tell me about the back feature on this jacket. So this back panel is completely removable. So it can go from a colder weather jacket to a warmer weather jacket very quickly. So this jacket's really adaptable to go from cold weather to warm weather. This whole back panel is removable that allows for extra venting. It's got zippers on the side and then Velcro on the top and the bottom. So Ashley, tell us about the flannels and all the features that these particular jackets so have. These flannels are some of our most popular items. They look like a normal flannel. One of the best parts about them, they've got zippered front with the buttons, zippered pockets. But on the inside of this flannel, you can see that there is back armor, um, shoulder armor, and elbow armor. It's all removable, so it's easy to wash. It's got the Kevlar, like the jackets do, on the contact points. And then it also has the cell phone pockets on the inside. So for a warmer day, if you just want to wear something that looks just like a flannel but be protected, this is something that we have for you. Can you tell me about um, how much does this actually weigh on a person? Like, how much is the weight of this? So you're going to feel like it's a regular flannel with just a little bit extra. So it's going to be warmer than a normal flannel, but it, very, very close, but because of the extras that are inside of it. But it's not going to be anything like your jacket weighs. And that's a good point because a lot of people want something that's safe, but they don't want to feel weighted down, so that's a nice feature. Yeah. Now we are on the men's jackets, and she's going to share some of the features that this has. Is it pretty much the same, Ashley, or is there any other extra features that the men's jacket has? It's pretty much the same as the women's jacket. It comes in a little bit different colors. So the women have this khaki color with the pink on it, and this has the khaki color with the red. And then it has the same um, black, gray, and green jacket as well, but it comes in men's sizes. So Ashley is now holding up this really nice vintage style men's leather jacket and they have other colors but right now she's holding up the gray one. Yeah, so we have a full range of men's leather jackets just like we do with the women's. We've got the complimentary styles. This vintage one is definitely one of our most popular. It has all the similar features as the women's leather jacket with the removable liner on the inside and the cell phone pockets and everything but this style is just really popular right now. It sure looks nice. Yeah. Very nice. So this is our line of the men's textile jackets. It's got a lot of fun features. These things clip up, has venting on the sides, and just like all the other jackets, it's got the removable liner on the inside with the multiple cell phone pockets. Very nice, and one thing I noticed about your jackets is some jackets don't have any zippers in the inside, and so it's kind of a nice feature to have that zipper so you don't have to worry about anything um, popping out of that jacket. Yeah, and there's a lot of different inside pockets, so you can hold a lot of things. And then all the jackets have extra cinching, either down here with Velcro or with buttons, so you can adjust them, micro adjust them. Tell us about this gear. You're holding it. Is it heavy? What is the material? And uh, how safe is this? So this is our Monza R racing suit, which we have available for men and women, and it's fully customizable, just like we can fit a 10-year-old into it, we could also fit someone a lot larger into it. And this is for definitely out on the track days. Keeps you very safe. Ashley is now holding up the women's gear, and I heard that this is a two-piece. This is a two-piece. You can see right here where it disconnects, and this is fit for women's sizes. And it doesn't look like it's really heavy because obviously you're carrying it in your hands, yes. so riding would be uh, not only safe but comfortable. Yes, it would be safe and comfortable, perfect for a track day. Well, it looks like you are holding up something very uh, valuable here. You guys are voted number one best motorcycle jackets for women, correct? 
Correct. So a really awesome organization, Women Riders Now, they go around to the different shows and they have women vote on which jackets they like the most, which ones they feel the most comfortable with. So we've received this award a couple times from them already, which is a really awesome support to have. Absolutely. I think that's amazing because everyone wants to ride safe, correct? Exactly. Ride safe and look good. Tell me about AGV Sport. How many years have you guys been around? Um, and t just fill us in a little bit more about some of the details about your company. Okay, so AGV Sport has been around for 35 years, but we completely rebranded it around three years ago, and then we're the distributors for all of North America. So Ashley, it's great to see you over at the International Motorcycle Show. Uh, you got a lot of uh, different jackets, a lot of different features for men and for women, and uh, a lot of different colors, and safety is like a very big thing. And we really appreciate that Thank about you. you guys. Thank you. We're having a really good time. We hope to see a lot of people out here this weekend. As you can see, there's so many people behind me here over at the International Motorcycle Show. They're all here to check out all the amazing motorcycles and learn more about the sport. I've had a chance to walk around myself and appreciate everything that's uh, put into all the work. And they're going to learn a lot about it too as they come in. And there's a very awesome bike behind me. i never seen so much detail on the chrome. Very awesome. There's many awesome bikes here, so come on out. Hey everyone, I'm here at the motorcycle show and look at this awesome bike behind me. Look at all the detail on all the, um, the rims and everything. It's just a very nice bike. Hope you guys can make it out here. Okay, well welcome to the EMS Road Docs. We're a medical organization, not for profit, that provides assistance to all our local charities, such as the Ovarian Cancer Ride, Toys for Todd, Ride Janie Ride. Not withholding what we do with motorcycles, we also support our local 5Ks. We're educators, we're out in the community every day. Some of our members as we're here, Jeff is over there, has joined us for about two years now. He's one of our first responders. And of course, Jean is here. She makes us all look good. Followed by Don Luke, who comes in from Indiana. He's an EMT and Lake County police officer. Um, I would say what her nickname is, but Karen here is also one of our first responders. And of course, what organization wouldn't be here without an Andy? So having said all that, we as EMS Road Docs love what we do. We give medical support 
to all the local charities in our community. If you see us on a ride with a high-vis orange on, we're there for you. We love what we do. We're education. We're support for our veterans, our children, and cancer causes. Let us know if we can assist you on your ride. Thank you. International Motorcycle Show, I was walking around and I came across this booth called Tobacco Motorwear Company and I met up with Coco and she's going to tell us about her product. Hi Coco, great to have you over at the IMS show. Uh, tell us about what you have over here. Um, well, we have protective motorcycle wear. Uh, basically the idea behind our clothing is uh, we want it to look stylish but also protect, you know, so when you get on and off your bike, you can go anywhere you want and you don't look like you have this bulky motorcycle stuff on, you know. You actually can just, I'm actually wearing the jeans right now, you know, it just looks like normal clothing. They look uh, very comfortable, but yet they're, they're thick. Um, I was kind of looking around, I, I kind of felt this earlier, and it's, it's like, uh, it's got a quality to it that you feel like if you um, get off your bike, you feel like you have something to protect you. Yeah, well, we try to source the uh, highest quality fabrics we can. We use a lot of heavy ounces in uh, our weight, and they're also Kevlar lined. So you have extra protection there. You know, when you go down, they have Kevlar. It's going to help, you know, save your life and skin. Definitely. Um, now, what's kind of neat about your booth, um, some people just, you know, focus on just the ladies or the men. You have both, and you have an array of different sizes. Um, show us what you have. What's, like, your best seller and the sizing that you have? Um, yeah, we have uh, a lot of sizes from, for women. We have a uh, size 24 up to a size 40, so we do try to accommodate the smaller but also the curvier women. And for men, we also have sizes small through 3X. Um, and, and then in our uh, men's pants, we have size 28 through uh, 44. And our women's jackets, we uh, actually, we're getting a higher turnaround for them. So we're starting to introduce more sizes. We now have size small through uh, 3X and women's uh, shirts as well. Now, um, what is like, um, I don't want to say bestseller because everyone, you know, I'm sure you have a bestseller, but everyone has a certain kind of a preference. But what are you showcasing here at the show that's kind of, you know, like turning over pretty good. Uh, well, we have our women's riding shirt. It's called the Riveter Riding Shirt. We just introduced this back in November. Uh, we have uh, our men's California riding shirt. It's very similar, and these this has done very, very well lately for us. The response to it has been uh, better than you know we thought it would be, have been. So it uh, it's a heavier denim but it's also not fully lined, so it's breathable, and it has Kevlar in just r the right spot, so it has it up in the shoulder and in the uh, forearm, and then from the neck to the mid-back. What colors um, do you have in this particular style here? Uh, for this one, we have this light indigo, and then we have this black herringbone, and on the inside, the lining for the indigo one is, it's a, uh, like American flag red color, kind of just kept it very Americana. And then on the inside of the black one, we wanted to give a pop. So we did a, a yellow lining here. A lot of people have cameras and phones and keys and stuff. Is there like somewhere where they, they can like put this in, in the inside of the pocket here? Is there like any like lining inside that they could yeah. stick that? Great, great question. Yes, we have uh, some pretty big hand pockets here. And then we have the chest pockets where you can put, you know, like chapstick, whatever you want. But also on the inside, we have some pretty deep pockets here. You can stick your cell phone in there, a, a water bottle, you know, keys, kind of whatever you need. Yeah. It's a pretty hefty sized pocket. It's kind of nice because I know I have a lot of jackets that they're, they're, uh, they're so tight, I can't even fit my phone. And um, this is like a high quality, you know, and I could even have room to put my phone. Like you said, you could put a water bottle. You could probably stick some other stuff in there. You got more room. So A snack. I mean, that was the thing. We have 
Same for our men's jackets. We also offer the same pocketing. Uh, you know, we want it to be stylish but functional, you know, on and off your bike. You want to be able to keep things in your bike and, and get to them and, you know, just look cool. We want it to be stylish, you know, you know not, I, not overly bulky. I kind of like what you said, stylish, because um, the inside lining is really remarkable. There's, you know, just a lot of, you know, it looks really, really nice. So, like, when you're hanging up your coat, you got it stylish, you got the pockets, very nice, and you have the zipper with the you know snaps which is really cool because usually you have like just one or the other and you're offering both yes yeah uh the idea behind the zipper is that we don't want uh them to pop open super easily you know and uh it's just extra like you said closure and gives that stylish look to have the button because it just looks like a normal button-up shirt you know you would never know unless you actually owned it that it's functional for riding a motorcycle. I mean, I have people constantly stopping me saying, hey, I like your shirt. And I'm like, oh, I have, you know, protection in it. It's for riding my bike. And they're really impressed by it. So tell us a little bit more about your company. How long has the company been in business? How many years? Uh, tobacco has been around for about five years. Uh, it was started by the owner, Dave Ackerman. He, uh, you know, he had a close encounter on his bike and he uh, you know, was concerned that he didn't have any protective gear and he wanted something that, like we said, was stylish and, and very, like, heritage-looking, like Americana kind of, uh, but that you can get on and off your bike. You know, if you're riding to work and you're able to wear some nice, you know, dark jeans, you don't have to change. You can wear it wherever you are. So, uh, yeah, he started about five years ago and for about two or three years, he did it as a side job until you know we started making enough business where it's now his full-time job and we're growing every day and putting out new products as fast as we can he's doing what he loves yes he is yeah so coco tell us about the pants you're holding up right now uh, these are our women's pants and actually I, i'd say that you know most people go for our pants we do sell a lot of the shirts as well but you know it's very protective on your you know the kevlar you're wearing them yourself yeah i'm wearing them now um these are women's, they're a high-rise skinny jean. They have 2% stretch in them, so you can still get your leg up over your bike. Uh, and they're very comfortable. And we made them a high-rise because when you're on your bike and you're leaned over, if your jacket's coming up, you you know, you want to have your pants like where, where you don't have a cold back, basically. Definitely. You know? uh, so yeah, these are the women's ones. We offer them in two different colors. Uh, and then these are our men's. And these are our selvage denim. They, uh, you know, just have that crisp, like, heritage look to them, and they're heavy, and they're uh, very protective, you know? And they, and when they fade, you should see what they look like when they fade. They have really cool wear marks. So if you carry your wallet in your front pocket or your back pocket, eventually they'll start to get the, uh, the wear marks because they're, they're raw denim. So when you wear them more, they, you know, show just a, a cool effect to them. Very nice. And they look really nice on you. They look comfortable, too. They don't look like they're, like, really tight. I think you were saying, um, when I was talking to you earlier before we were speaking on this interview, you were saying, I think that there's, like, a little more stretch on the, the girls' jeans, right? Yes, yes. These are very comfortable. There's 2% stretch in the women's. We don't have any stretch in the men's as of now. You know, we're always putting out more products. But, uh, yeah, for the, for the women, you know, we, we tend to wear our pants a little bit tighter than men do. We like them a little bit skinnier and slimmer fitting. So... If we didn't have that stretch, it would be very hard to get up over our bikes, you know. So it's just more comfort, you know. That's We want to make products that just look like they're your everyday clothing, but also are just comfort. So, you know, we're, we're always constantly trying to improve our fit and comfort and just put ideas into the clothing that you would need for riding a motorcycle. It's very important because you want to look good and you also want to feel good while you're riding. You want to be comfortable, so that's what she has to offer, and that's nice. I appreciate that. Thanks so much. How can they get a hold of you guys? Uh, well, we have a website. You can go to www.tobaccomotorwear.com. Uh, we also have an Instagram, Tobacco Motorwear Co., and then uh, Facebook, Tobacco Motorwear. So there's different, definitely platforms where they can, uh, you know, come check us out. Of course, we want you guys to come out to the International Motorcycle Show, but if you cannot make it, she gave you all the information to get a hold of her and uh, get some product here.
Thank you so much, Coco, for coming to the show. Got a lot of nice product there and a, a, a nice array of sizing, and we're just happy to have you here today. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Bryant, we actually call him Batman because he's here with the Bat Bug and he's going to tell us about the Bat Bug and uh, hey, we enjoy seeing you again. Tell us about this uh, vehicle we got behind here. Well, I really, really enjoy the vehicle. It's a vehicle that's very interactive. I love the fact that people can come, sit in and relax. My kids and I designed this, put it together and built it. It took a year to build. We've been riding it over the last three years. As you know, we do the Toys for Tots. We do South Suburban Toy Drive toys in the hood, try to raise money for juvenile diabetes, but it's a 71 Volkswagen Super Beetle. It's probably 90% car. It's a 1600cc dual port engine in the back. We put disc brakes on it on the front and the rear. That Harley fairing on there, yes, it's held on by PVC piping. You got to use your imagination messing with the Volkswagen. This machine gun up here is put together with PVC piping, door locks, and some C-clamps. So I always tell the kids, stop asking your parents to buy something brand new. Take your time, use your imagination, and we're around a bunch of dimes, and I mean beautiful, beautiful bikes, and I just love the fact people take the time to get in the bed bug, take a picture, and laugh about it. Absolutely. I think it's awesome. Your whole family got in on this because you don't see, you know, you see other families, but uh -huh. not everybody is a family thing doing this, and I think it's really great that you got your whole kids helping you out. And uh, we're happy to have you here at the IMS show. I love to see you guys out uh, documenting these beautiful bikes and taking it right to the people so they can see exactly what we're out here doing. You do a fantastic job. Thank you so much. No Take problem. Your time. Look at the bad bug. Happy to be here. Thank you so much. I'm over here at the Illinois Motorcycle Freedom Run booth with Cooch and everybody representing. And Cooch is going to do the rundown, who everybody is and how they're involved with the Illinois Motorcycle Freedom Run. Well, so Cooch, here we are again. Thank you for stopping by. As you know, we're all with the Middle East Conflicts War Memorial. And this is the crew. This is the vice president. We call him Candyman. A major assistant to the product person, Tom Dirtz, which is Gwen. She takes care of our product now. And I'm, I'm going to call you Shorty, Matt. That's Shorty, and he's one of our security guys. So this is part of the big team that pulls off that run the third Saturday in June every year. And this year it is uh, June 20th, where we'll be adding the names of lives lost for the whole entire country. So this is the monument when it first started back in 2003. It was basically five panels in a 3,000 name reading. How many panels we got now, Mike? 15 panels, over 8,100 names of our heroes from the whole entire country and like I said we updated the third Saturday in June if people like to get involved in our organization hopefully you could go to our websites or our Facebook to learn more about us but we need more members we need more good volunteers again thank you and um, please uh, check out their website and just understand these guys are really trying to help you guys out there not that many people are doing this and you guys are doing it so thank you so much appreciate it thank you very much Tammy
my fellow Americans. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. Greater love than this has no man than to lay down his life for his friends. I'm standing here with Judy and Greg, and they're with Honor the Fallen, Tribute to the Troops. We are so very happy to have you here again. Unfortunately, we know that this is a very sensitive subject. We, um, we spoke with you in the past, and we're just so thankful that you're here at IMS, because this is definitely from the heart, and uh, you guys are here to honor the fallen. And can you please just tell us a little bit more why you're here and how you represent? Well, our main mission is to raise awareness to the public that there are families that have given a great sacrifice for our freedoms in this country. So what we do is we, we actually set up family visitations to go to the families of the fallen that have lost a son, daughter, husband, wife, and then our second, you know, past our primary mission of letting them remember that we always remember, we raise monetary money for scholarships for the, fam for the children of the fallen. And what we do that makes us unique is we also honor PTSD deaths as the same as a KIA would be. And we do offer those families monetary uh, scholarships for their children too. So it's a great organization and there's nothing more that we can do that makes the family so happy when we visit them. Judy is actually a Gold Star mom. She lost her son Blake and she got in the organization through her first visitation. So. It's, it is a good organization and it really is something that has to be done and the public has to be made aware of it. There, there are many people that sacrifice for our freedoms. 
Judy, we can't thank you enough for being here. This is truly, again, this is so sensitive, and we thank you so much for your service because if it wasn't for people like you to bring awareness, people wouldn't feel comfortable talking with you guys, knowing that there's people out there that truly do care and can honor them and represent them the right way. So we really do thank you so much. Thank you. Can't talk. <laughs>
as you can see, there's a very awesome looking bike in front of me. We got a nice paint job, space themed, very cool. There's many awesome bikes here at the motorcycle show, so be sure to come on out. sitting here with Gina Woods for Open Road Radio again. It's amazing. We've seen her last year at the IMS show, and here we are again. It's just like yesterday. Time just went real fast again, didn't it? I am so excited when you guys are here. Then I know it's officially the International Motorcycle Show when you guys show up, right? Because I see you guys every year, and I love that you're here, and you cover it for TNT TV. That is huge. That's wonderful. So I'm sitting here. We did a live broadcast today on 1590 AM, 95.9 FM, Open Road Radio. We do a live stream on Facebook for Open Road Radio and Chopper Town. And these are some of my great friends that are here with us today. It's Mark J. Schumann and Associates. David Schumann with Mark J. Schumann and Associates. Hi, Mark Schumann. Great to be here, having a great time. And we don't want to forget you, you're Greg Allen. I'm Greg Allen, I represent Haggerty Insurance. Awesome. Last year you had some other people helping you out and you guys you got some new people here today and we're happy to you guys are part of the IMS show and helping out with Open Road Radio and uh, you're doing like you're doing a live show. I think that's amazing what you guys are doing today. Thank you so much. And you know what's really amazing is that these guys have ponied up with us to uh, to sponsor accident scene management. We're talking accident scene management courses for all of our listeners who are for EMT, for for police, uh, for other motorcyclists, to uh, bystander assistance program, and that's what's really important, right? To keep motorcyclists safe, keep motorcyclists safe when they're riding. But if something should happen, then we have our injury lawyers with us. So that's real important for for everybody to know. Most definitely, because these motorcycles are absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's a great sport for those who are uh, into the sport. But again, safety is key, and it's the most important thing. So, and, and that's what you guys are trying to talk about, and we really appreciate that. Absolutely, and we want everybody to stop by because we are giving away, a, as you say, a motorcycle. And we are giving it away. We just gave one away a couple months ago, once a year. We're giving it away on Veterans Day, big supporters of veterans. All, all, all of these people here. And, um, you know, that's really important. Get the word out. Come and win a bike. Have a great time. MotorcycleSafetyLawyers.com and also Haggerty Insurance. Very good. Thank you so much, you guys, for being at the IMS show. And, Gina, you're always an encouragement to us ladies. And with you, without you guys, we couldn't do it either. We need you guys aboard. So thanks oh, so yeah, much. we could. <laughs> we could do it. Our pleasure. Yeah. Great to see you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we were just at the motorcycle show, and now we ended up in the desert. Yeah, look at that. I haven't seen one of those since ever. There's even cactuses. Cacti. Well, so there's a motorcycle, and we're going to ride back to the motorcycle show. So stay tuned.
Well, everyone, I'm waiting to go on a power assist cycle. So be sure to check it out. I'm gonna have a lot of fun. I'm in here, I got my helmet on. They're gonna show uh, everyone how to use it. Um, so, once again, uh, pedal assist. You have to pedal it in order for it to assist you. Stop pedaling and stop helping. As you can see, it's very similar to many other bicycles in terms of controls and components. So your rear brake is on the right side over here. Front brake is on the left side over here. Down here is where you would do your shifting. We actually you don't do any shifting today because we really want to focus on the E part of it anyway. Um, how we get the E part to work is uh, right here in the center of the handlebar, you'll see your information panel. This one is on and armed and ready to go. Um, once it's on, you don't have to do anything else for them, okay? All of your controlling is done right here with your left thumb. So this toggle switch, you press it up or forward one time, green light comes on. Now the bike is helping you. This level is about 25%, so you're still doing 75% of the work. The bike is just helping a little bit. If I press it again, the light remains green, but that level does increase. If I press it again, it goes blue, as you would imagine, and the level comes up. One more time on the road bikes, and now you're at the maximum, which is the opposite. Now the bike is doing 75% of the work, you're only doing 25% of the work. On the uh, mountain bikes, you have one level above that, and essentially, it's, it's not any more assistance, it just adds a little bit of torque to your pedal stroke. Um, so it's going to actually read the rear wheel speed, how fast you're pedaling, and most importantly for me anyway, is the amount of pressure that you put on that pedal, okay? So if you're just going for a leisurely ride through the park, and you're not putting any pressure on that pedal, you're not asking for anything from the bike, so it's not going to give you anything. So what I'm going to ask you to do is start out on that first level of green, do one lap in that level, when you come around the four on lap two, I want you to put some pressure on that pedal as you're pedaling, so Put some pumps into it and bump it up two times. Go right to blue. Immediately you have Superman legs. Keep in mind now that you have Superman legs, you might be going faster on lap two than you were on lap one. The straightaway does turn into a corner at some point. So I'll remind you that the rear brake is on the right side and you can certainly use that. Um, do another lap or whenever you're comfortable, go ahead and bump that up to the maximum. It is very cool, it's very smooth, um, it's very natural. Um, so let's give it a try. I'm on my bike, getting ready to go. So here we guys go! Yay! These are very awesome. I'm definitely getting myself one of these. These go very fast. This is only on 25%, so I'm doing 75% oh, um, of the work. Um, now I'm going to bump it up to two on my turn here. Right to blue. So now it is doing 75% of the work, and I can go as fast as possible. So now I'm on full speed. I'm cruising like a motorcycle here. Very fun, awesome. Way more fun than using a regular bicycle. Speeding very fast, uh, very fun, awesome. And I'm barely pedaling, it's literally I could go very fast, but as you see, I'm using a pedal assist. So, yeah, watch this. Whoa! One more lap, um, and then we're going to move on to the motorcycles. The last lap, so I gotta slow down a little bit. I'm gonna go right into the corral and put my bike down. Very fun, very awesome. I'm definitely gonna get myself one of these. Just very fun and awesome. 
So Timmy and Tony, you guys having a good time at the IMS? Yeah, it's fun here. How about you, Timmy? Yeah, I'm having a blast. Really awesome. What do you think about this guy? Do you think he's having a good time? I think so. I think so too. There's not only motorcycles here, but there's also jet skis. And I get a chance to sit on it. Hopefully I get a chance to ride one. Summer's coming soon. I can't wait. They even have ATVs here. And I have no idea how to ride this, so I'm glad it's not on. Well, literally everywhere I look and everywhere I go, there's awesome and amazing motorcycles. I just wanted to stop in front of this one. It got nice paint, nice shine, really awesome. So stay tuned for more awesome bikes. Would you believe the time went by so fast? It's the end of our program. But we had a great time while we were here. We met up with some new people. We talked about some different bikes that we didn't see before. We had a good time. We'll see you again real soon.